Governor Snyder has signed a bill into law making it easier for local governments to crack down on mobile home parks that are falling apart. This new legislation is aimed at regulating and ensuring safety for residents and getting tough with property owners. NBC 25's Nikki Zizaza went to several mobile home parks in Genesee County and spoke to people who say this measure is long overdue. Nikki. The bill is Public Act 40, and it's in an effort to improve conditions in mobile parks across the state. And Dave, most of the people I spoke to in mobile homes in our area had a laundry list of unhabitable conditions they deal with day in and day out. They tell me it's about time something's getting done about it. You've probably seen them, mobile homes left to rot. Mary Jane Pratt remembers a time her neighborhood didn't look like this. They plowed, they, they fixed the holes in the road. You know, they did what they could. They had everybody mowing lawns, empty lots, you know. But now about 30 homes sit trashed, many of them with missing doors, walls, broken windows, or in some cases, all of the above. All that remains is fear for her safety. And down here is getting crazy. You know, you got gunshots down here, people starting fires, and you know. I mean, there was an old guy that hung himself back here because he didn't want to leave because his wife had died here. Danny Running lives here at this park, and when I told him about the new law that forces a crackdown on property owners for safety inspections, he was relieved. They don't, the police drive through at night, you know, but that doesn't stop nothing. People come in from everywhere and rip the siding off and everything they can get that's worth any money. And although Danny is happy about the news, he says it comes too late. He says he wants to stay, but the unlivable conditions has forced him to look elsewhere. No, we had planned to stay because we had been here 20 years, you know, and it was like home, <laughs> you know, but. And Dave, the owner of the properties was unavailable for comment. The city is in control of mobile parks that I visited today and is working with tenants to help them relocate. Nikki Zizaza, NBC 25 News.